This is Christina, and you're watching Custom Games. Welcome back to stream. I'm your host, Christina. Tonight, we are checking out the dispatch simulator known as Railroot. Root? Is it Route or Root? I think it's Root. <laughs> um, I am joined by the peanut gallery of Chase and Link. Say hi, guys. Mm -hmm. oh, looks like Link, Link is, is away. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Wicked, thank you for the 26 months at Tier 1. Um, so tonight we have some wonderful synthwave and retrowave going on. Uh, Chase is going to be our main, uh, peanut gallery with Link assisting where possible. And I am going to be trying my best to just not disrupt the schedule that, uh, is being set up here. Although take on more contracts where I can, and I'll sort of explain things as I go. But with that said, I think we need to go ahead and be open for business. I so, way louder than I thought I did. Oh God! <laughs> First thing we have here is you'll see the stations that the train is going to visit and what times roundabout. So, platform three at what's that, Chase? <laughs> what you, you want me to do? Military time. No, no. The name. Oh. Oh, I was like, wait, what? Oh, I see that now. Uh, I don't know. I didn't look at that one. Relevant? Yeah, that sounds right. And then they're going to Charlottenburg 3 and coming back to Relevant 2. Yeah. Sounds right. And we're going to go ahead and get them moving just a bit faster because the early game is a tad slow. And that little green indicates we have a contract available, um, but it's for Berlin, which we don't even have close to access for right now. Go ahead and tell it to switch sides and run it back. Okay, that's gonna be one that we can run eventually, but not yet. And this one is relevant to Gesundbrunnen. You will continue to say that one. <laughs> it's like Gesundheit, but Gesundbrunnen. Gesundbrunnen. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So the whole idea of this game is that we are going to be slowly upgrading our infrastructure and taking on more trains to handle well, to, uh, to increase our productivity, the more productivity we clear, the better tiers we get, and the more upgrades we get. Um, so what I'm going to do is very quickly, I am going to do a little bit of a track upgrade here for personal preference. That route off, that route, and then construction... Gonna hug this side. Now let's do it that way. Actually, that's even better. That gives me even more room. And same thing here. We're just gonna buy a little bit more room. So everything can operate a little bit closer. Eventually we're gonna get one open here and then I'm gonna start running everything for 
get some Bronin to uh, one so I can just have a nice little tight loop here that doesn't mm -hmm. get interrupted. Uh, let's go ahead and continue time. And so every time we dispatch a train uh, on time, we get this little green icon. We use, and then we spend the green icons for uh, upgrades. In this case, the first one we're going to go after is this auto accept. That way, when a train comes in, I don't have to immediately click two buttons to give it a platform. The only ones I would need to do that for are brand new contracts that I don't give platforms. Okay. In this case, uh, we're about to have another one that is headed to Charlottenburg. And that time where it is, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, that is eating into the time for the contract. Oh. So the less time it does that, the better. Also, I'm seeing an error with how I designed that. That is not the connection I want because that's really difficult to click quickly. Let's get rid of this connection. And we'll click quickly redraw it. Luckily, uh, you always get um, full refund. So you can redraw as many times as you need to, and it's always the same price. I think we'll do that instead, just so I can have two very distinct switches to play with. Nope, not what you want that and there you go and cassie and wicked in the chat how are you guys tonight and chase how are you tonight uh running very much in low power mode <laughs> ah see now i have made an error because see now I can't actually connect three up to here. So what I need to do, draw a connection up until I can change this platform. Do this, that, that. Go ahead and bring you back in on three. There we go. And Cassie is doing good. Good. Okay, so before we go any further, I'm getting the auto accept. <laughs> so I don't have to keep accepting them. Um, that we're going to get five more points, and I'm going to get platform adjustments. So I can get all of the trains for this up to number one. Um, in the meanwhile, we're just going to keep banking cash, I think. What's this one going to... Well, this one would be another one. So while this is running, I can actually talk about setting up the timing. So in earlier stages of, or in earlier versions of the game, you could not control when the new contract ran this precisely. Um, this has actually been a very nice upgrade. But basically what we have here is the three steps that the uh, contract's gonna take and what I can do is I can actually shift the contract around to fit wherever I think I want it in the schedule. In this case, I'm gonna leave about a 10, about a two minute air gap, give or take. Miss that. Yeah, so it's technically in the station, one, two, three, four minutes. So I'm going to give a fifth to clear the platform, and then I'm dropping another train in right there. And then that's going to keep this running as efficiently as I can. Technically, if I wanted to, I could actually split the difference. So now we actually have about a two-minute air factor on each side. Um, in fact, we'll do it that way for now. Um, so we're going to say it's going to come in on three. You can see now it highlights where it's going to be. Um, there's only one platform we can do at Charlottenburg, and then we'll tell it it's leaving on two. 
So now it'll just automatically accept it to platform three as though it's a contract I've already had running. Okay. And we'll say go. So now you'll see there's our new contract that I just accepted. Then the game looks something like this. Especially as we start getting more of these in a line, you'll start seeing exactly how cool this looks as they're all interacting with each other. So accept it. There it is. It pulled it straight in and it already know and I already know I want it to go there. And look, I actually have another contract for the same thing. So theoretically what I can do is let's just go ahead and accept that one. Um, same as before, we're going to shift it over until I find a space that works. And what you're going to notice is because I already have a contract of the same style, it defaulted all of my platforms. So it okay, automatically knows it's coming in on three and it should go out on two. I can change it if I want. Um, so in this case, again, we're just going to do the stagger of two minutes across the board. And you can see we're starting to fill up the schedule nicely. Um, once these commuters that are on the hour go away or on the 20 minute mark go away, which is for Gessen Brunnen. I said that right. Yeah. Yep. Um, once those commuters get moved up to one, I can actually have two and three always uh, activating. Um, and Cassie, you would think it gets way too complex, but watch this. <laughs> By the end of stream, these three platforms are going to be automated, and I'm not going to have to touch them. So if you notice, we've now got a slight issue. These two trains are going to overlap and try and fight for this sector. So instead, what I'm going to do before I give this one right of way, we're actually going to change how it runs. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to tell it, let's give it some space so I can use all the tracks later. Let's go down to here and straight across. So now... The other thing we can do is I'm going to put another signal right here so that a train that I dispatch can actually come all the way up here before needing clearance for this last section. So I can let the other train do all of what it wants to do. And then at the last second, as soon as it clears here, I can drop this and let the next train in. And again, all of this automates as we progress through the game. Um, and this is actually another contract, so let's just stack this one in now. Uh, let's see. So now we'll bring this one forward. And again, it defaulted since it's the same style of contract. Other neat things um, over here on the right panel you'll see that there is a minimum of five trains that have to be dispatched, or if I cancel the contract during that time, I get penalized. And it repeats every 60 minutes. And then this tells me that it will stop at every station on the list. There are contracts known as inner cities that only stop at some stations and will pass other stations which is kind of neat. Um, in earlier versions of the game, when inner cities were a whole lot more common, I would actually throw out all the commuter contracts and just run inner cities because they were much more efficient. Um, but in this case, we'll go ahead and accept this. And theoretically, we might be able to get close to the number. Also, I just realized I'm on the wrong camera. Chase, we couldn't see you. <laughs> I, I just thought you didn't like the boy anymore. I'm sorry, okay? And okay. He understands. 
still don't have a good way. Um, so the one thing you guys will be missing is that I do have a timetable over here on my right just to watch uh, Charlottenburg to make sure that I'm not overloading it. Actually, I could do that. That works. I can just pop it out over top and you guys can watch it that way. Um, so in this case, we now have another contract ready to go. So now this is where it's going to get fun. They'll watch these two cross. And I'm getting ready on the switch. Switch him in and tell this guy when he gets to the end, I need him to reverse. Okay, this one. Now again, you'll notice I have messed it up slightly. So we're just gonna come in here and tell it to switch early. Um, okay, there might be an upgrade change here. How do I wanna do this? These are gonna move at about the same time. Um, actually, no, we can do that. We'll do, so we'll add a signal there. So now this one can get right up against it while I let this one through. And let's go ahead and give you the green light to there, you the green light to there, and continue running. Get ready. All right, so now we have another one that's coming straight through. Tracks available, so I can do it straight across. You can see now that I've been accepting this contract a few times, now it's actually giving me that contract because it thinks I want to run more of them, which I do. Now, if I've got it right, we're going to watch this thing get really neat as it starts filtering trains in right as another one comes in. Look at that. <laughs> Look at it go. And up next is that one. Okay, so at this point, as soon as these two clear, we're gonna have a momentary pause and we're gonna talk a little bit about the upgrades. I think, yep, so there's my green. All right, so I've got eight greens right now, so let's talk about upgrades. So there's a couple of upgrades off the bat that I can already see I probably am gonna want. Um, so this automatic routing uh, just makes it so that I can use auto signals to tell it this is the route I wanna go to instead of having to manually switch all the switches. That would be nice. However, the platform adjustments are actually going to make it a whole lot easier quicker because if I can switch the purple trains to platform one, I don't even have to worry about the double switch for now. It's literally one switch that I'm going to keep toggling while I add more trains to the schedule. So the better buy right now is actually this platform adjustments. Um, this auto blocks we'll talk about eventually, um, but I don't think we're ready to move to that section of the map yet. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do a little bit of route changes right now. So we'll go into the build menu here and I'm actually going to tell it I want to buy some platforms. And I'm going to tell it I want platform one at Rillaben and I want platform two and one at Gesenbrunnen, 
And let's also do two and one here at Charlottenburg. Then the nice thing about building in this game is you do get a full refund. Even if the tracks have been used for a while. So it's really easy to reset your layout if you are not fond of it. In this case, now we have one to three on a high speed connection, which means we can also get rid of that signal because we don't need it now. The other connection I want to do real quick is we're going to go ahead and get a track in. Let's go down. And the reason I'm leaving so much room over here is so that I can eventually get uh, Grunwald open um, without much hassle because this turnaround gets really annoying and there's a lot of trains that want to go from Charlottenburg to Grunwald. Um, and again, we'll do the same thing for one here. We'll bring it straight down. And I don't have enough money. So what we're actually going to do is just go ahead and turn that off for now. And we do have the ability now for the trains to run from Gessenbrunnen to Charlottenburg and back. Makes sense. Oh, yeah. In this case, so this contract isn't going to work because I don't have a connection that satisfies all three of these right now. So we'll just decline it. I am, however, going to add another one of these to the schedule. Because, like, they're basically printing money. <laughs> go ahead and put another one in there. And then let's also go ahead and go into the active contracts. Not that one. Oh, this is the actives. And what we're going to do is I'm actually going to make some edits to the three purples. In this case, what we actually want to do is tell it, um, I want to go Rollabin on one now, and it'll still leave on, uh, I guess, on Brunnen three. And you'll see now that it'll update our route, and I need to do the same thing on these two. Rollabin one, and the third one. So what this is done now is if we go ahead and close this and expand our schedule, now you'll see the three trains we are having a problem with are up top. And now I have all this room open for the extra contracts that I didn't before. That's neato. And it looks like I got my timing off. I don't have, I, I messed up the line up there. Is that one that I've accepted? I think so. How did that happen? That one that hasn't run yet. Bit of my detail. Yep, so I can't adjust it, which means that's one I've already got. Eventually I'll be able to adjust the timings, just not yet. Hello, Boog! Boog is gifting a tier one sub. Uh, looks like Link was the recipient of that tier one sub. Yay. <laughs> Thank you for the gift sub, Boog. And Link, enjoy your sub badge. <laughs> Boog, how are you tonight? All right, let's collapse this down so we can see everything freezing <laughs> why freezing because he's cold duh all right now this came in we'll give it a green light there we go it wasn't figuring out what that switch was doing You're straight through. You've got to there. 
spent the day laying tile and I got wet. Oh no! You. So now you can see our purple, instead of crossing all the lanes, now just has a straight shot through. That it can do whenever it wants. Okay, that's neat. All right, and then we're gonna get a green there. We'll get a green there, and then we can do the, the uh, auto routing so that we can change all these over to smarter signals. Go ahead, turn that around. Tile looks nice though, first lane, time laying tile, very nice. From my experience, laying tile goes one of two ways. It's either, hey, I can make money doing this, or, oh, God, what have I done? <laughs> okay, we've got another one that I could actually bring in right now because it fits perfectly in the schedule. I think we're going to do that. We are also going to add another signal here. Because I'm realizing we don't have enough clearance to get everything through once we start really running. <laughs> also, don't ask me to lay tile for you. I've been asked three times today. <laughs> wow. That must mean you're really good at it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is think how I wanna do this, because there's a couple of different ways we could make this work. Um I actually think this might be the smartest. Cross over there, so we could do that. At the midpoint, though. Oh. So we need to stagger our timing. I'm trying to think what the best action is to get the Gessenbrunnen to Charlottenburg and back running efficiently. I never did get it totally right on my old save. So I'm trying to think it through a little bit. <laughs> um, in this case, let's just go ahead and keep letting this run while I think about this. Um, Boog, this is one of the games I was recommending to you earlier this year. Cleared, you're cleared. Have fun. Had to turn around, come on back. No. Oh, forgot to clear you. I am likely going to miss that contract. Ooh, we're going to get close.
Tier 2. All right. So now we've got some better upgrades available. Um, these are going to be a lot more expensive, uh, as it's easy to see. Um, however, there's a couple in here that I'm definitely going to start rushing towards, mainly these two sensors um, and the routing queue. These three upgrades are what make the entire system automatable to where I don't have to touch it. Um, so, in the meanwhile, we've got nine now. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and do the automatic routing. And then as soon as I get that tenth, as soon as I get a, a fifth, we'll turn around and get the auto reverse so I don't have to keep reversing these trains. And then at that point, it gets a whole lot more automated quickly. Um, so let's go ahead and do some upgrades on signals real quick. Go ahead and deactivate that one. Given, actually, let's do this. Start there, since these are flipping switches. And the others I can trigger manually because they're not flipping a switch. And then I still got to figure out this line. <laughs> um, I need a trick. So they're going to be leaving and entering, but you're only going to have one train at Charlottenburg a time, at a time. Maybe we tell it to join up there. That's going to favor Charlottenburg to clear the pat platform. And then we tell it, I want, oh, I don't even have money for a signal right now. So let's keep running these for the moment. Um, clear, clear. So you can see now, let's say the switch was against me. I can click this and tell it where I want to go and it automatically flips the switch. Oh, that's cool. Okay, Boog, see ya. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Boog. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep this open since the only train that's coming through is going that direction. And we've got five available. So quickly, we're going to go into the upgrades and tell it I want auto reverse. So basically, if it hits the end of a dead-end platform, it automatically turns around, which means I don't got to click over here anymore. <laughs> so this to there, that to there, go ahead. By the way, we're now at the start of a cycle, so it's going to start counting again. Go up, in, let them run. <laughs> Chase. Oh, I swear to God. All right, let's see where in the schedule this one's going to fit in. Actually, I think it's going to fit right there. That lines up with that. So literally just that arrival got messed up. So that'll be interesting to adjust because I literally just have to adjust that back a minute and it'll work it should clear in time anyways you can see we're really starting to fill up the schedule here <laughs> if I give that the green light that's what my hour looks like on platforms 1, 2, and 3 if you look at 2 looks like I get 1 Two, three trains, maybe. I think I got room for three more on the schedule with current speeds. <laughs> Boog, I may have been waiting for that response. Bye. See ya, Boog. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Boog.
That is where it gets terrifying when all the trains come in at once. <laughs> You're just, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, they're good. Well, I, I it's hairy for a moment because I'm like, okay, wait, wait, I got this right, I got this right, I got this right. Is that another forward back? Nope, that's a platform I don't have yet. So we're just going to let that one go away. And soon here, we'll talk about the red systems, but not yet. See, that's where the timing got screwed up, right? There. <laughs> that's a late one. Um, so let's talk about next upgrades because those are going to be important. Uh, the game pauses while I'm in here, so it doesn't matter. Um, we can upgrade our tracks, which is expensive. We could also do timetable adjustments. Or I could save up and start getting these sensors going. Hmm. I think I need to speed the system up first and then we'll get these sensors going. Because the more trains I can fit through in a certain amount of time, the better. Okay, let's go ahead and put in a signal here. And then we're gonna tell that one it's an automatic and that one it's an automatic. Now, let's go ahead and see what I can do with this schedule. So we're gonna tell it, I want Charlottenburg two. I want uh, Gesundbrunnen two on the entrance and I want one on the exit. Um. So a little bit about the mentality of how I do routing in this game. I always try and work in a singular clock direction. So in this case, you'll notice everything going from Rullaben to Charlottenburg comes in, comes in low, goes out high. So we're going to continue that pattern up here. It's going to come in low, go out high. Um, what that eventually does is it makes the routing a whole lot easier when we start having trains that go out into these sections of the map and come back. Because then I only have certain tracks that I know, okay, send them back on this one. <laughs> okay, that's neat. That way we don't have situations where all of a sudden I'm sending a train back on uh, Gessen Brunnen 2 and suddenly there's a train coming inbound on 2. I just know, don't touch 2, it's my inbound. There are a couple of stations that end up being um, sort of exceptions to the rule. But for now, in the scope of what you guys are seeing probably tonight, everything is going to move counterclockwise based on how it gets set up. Um, there is a point as the game really upgrades where I actually reverse it to clockwise to handle the traffic in Berlin. Because Berlin HBF sucks doing it counterclockwise. <laughs> um, but we'll see that maybe next time I play it. Let's go ahead and get that one accepted. And we'll tell this one it can come back through. And that one up to there. And we're going to watch this one to figure out our timing specifically we want to know 
the moment it crosses actually yeah we want to make sure the travel time from here to here makes sense so one two going in okay so it's basically two minutes of travel time to the auto signal we'll let it come through you can go through you can come up to here you're going to come home, and I want to watch travel time on the way back. So 33 flat, 3440. We would barely make it on a perfect circle. So theoretically, I can dispatch trains out of Gissenbrunnen to Charlottenburg at the same time that a train is leaving Charlottenburg and the line will be free. Albeit very tight. <laughs> um, there's ways I can alleviate that. We gotta wait until the train isn't on the line though. We're gonna come straight through. Then let's do this. Now that there's not a train on that line, we're gonna adjust it since I've got the money to do it. Let's take a line here. We're gonna tell it go up to here now. Because every block that I give it, we're gaining time. So if I, if I go ahead and do that, and then let's grab this one, move it one forward to there. So that should give me the timing I need to now actually have these moving rather quickly. Um, unfortunately, we missed our shot to do it already. Um, so instead, I just need to extrapolate when it would happen so I can fit another one in later. So let's say we're arriving there and leaving there. Move forward. So at the moment, it suspects five minutes later, it's there. So every five minutes on the, on the six one, I can do it. See what that looks like. One, and we're clear. Now come forward five more. One, two, three, four, five. Technically, we had an opportunity for two trains in there, I think. We'll go slow on adding those. <laughs> um, so let's come forward another 10 just to be safe. And we'll leave it out here for now. And that one, I think I've got another spot on the timetable. Yeah, right there. We'll add that one in. And 
and keep running. That's that one. It's already giving me another one because it's like, ooh, you want more. <laughs> well, we can test the theory. Need it there. Check it out. So theoretically speaking, when... Five minutes later... I should, if I'm right, be able to do this and not have a collision. Let's try it out. Chase, you think it'll work? Um, yeah. We're about to find out. That is my honest truth. <laughs> Me. We're going to have another spot for the back and forth train. Okay. We're going to give you clearance to there. You're only clearance to the auto signal. You're going to have clearance to there. You're going to have clearance to there. Let's go ahead and add another back and forth train. This one we're not going to bring in until all the way up here. And how much is the upgraded tracks? 10. Yeah, we're going to do upgraded tracks next. Because what that does is it actually tightens my tolerances because I can get more trains through quicker. Or it loosens the tolerances. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because basically I double the speed on any line I upgrade. Okay, you're going to be the first one I got to touch. Go. Yeah, I got plenty of room. Look at that. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> Okay, one thing I am seeing we're gonna need though is I do need a signal up here just so I can get as close to the platform as I can without going in right now. Since we are hitting as close to the timing as we are. <laughs> you're good to there, you're good to there, you're good through to there. And let's run them. I think I've got space for one last one game. <laughs> First of all, let's do the upgrades while there's nobody on the line. <laughs> so let's get basic tracks install. Now, these tracks are expensive. <laughs> like 15 grand for this line here. So <laughs> we're not exactly going to do it just yet. Um... But we can now start earning even more. Let's go ahead and get this last one on the timetable, though. Like, I've got one more spot, right? Ooh, actually, I got two spots. Wait, how are you overlapping? Where are you coming from? Oh, you're there. You're timing that far off? Or is this train expecting to go a hell of a lot quicker? That's what's happening. This train's expecting to go a hell of a lot quicker. So the timing will shift. We're going to tell it that it's actually arriving here. 
and that it is actually arriving there based on the speed. I'll deal with that. And at this point, I think the timetable between two and three is as booked as I can get it on this line. And get them trains running like a well-oiled Swiss watch. Okay, so if I can go every five minutes, we've got a train there now. 10.56, we're at 55 almost, so it was about to clear. And we have an open spot, but it's expecting a speed. That's why I say, wait a minute, what's happening? <laughs> if I adjusted this by two, so if we're expecting the travel time to be five minutes, which means you need another five minutes there. Hmm. Well, I can't go over 40 right now. So actually it is that. Go ahead and bring it in. And as our tracks get faster, I can retime all of these. And you can see when I was doing the timing, it was actually telling me the speed that it would need to maintain to get there. Well, that's neat. In this case, you're clear straight through. And timing on this is off. And we just started a cycle. See how many we can get. I, it's thinking I've got 18 to play with. Any contracts I got. Total is 19. Theoretically, we're about to have one here. You're good there. You're good there. Come on through, everybody. And I've pulled all of this off in an hour. <laughs> you how quick this game moves despite you seeing a pretty good clip despite seeming very relaxing yeah go go that timing's better look at those two you're good to there, you're good to there, you're good to here, you're good up to there, actually all the way through. No new contracts, let them run. 
New one. He wants to fill the schedule. Okay, fine. You want to fill the schedule? Fill the schedule. Theoretically. Sixteen out at twenty six. Why are you not in at twenty six? What happened? Oh, we have problems. Something happened and this whole thing shifted. Why are you at seven? Seven and two. We have an overlap of a minute, and then it's going to come back the other direction. I think you just have to tighten the gap there. Yeah, let's tighten the gap there because I can clean this up. You're straight through, you're straight through, you're good, you're good. And we're about to have a lot of upgrade points available because of all this. Go, go. I want to try and get to the departure sensors so you guys can see those in action. Um, in preparation for those, let's go ahead and get the rest of these signals that are forwards to automatics because that's going to be required to make this work. Um, and then what we need to do is going to be 55 greens is what I need. So let's go ahead and speed up time even more than normal. Twenty five to do the real start. Um, or is it thirty? Because I probably want the arrivals first. Yeah, so I can stop clicking these two. The arrivals would be faster. Chase with posture check and hydrate. Thank you, Chase. Mm -hmm. Um, I just realized something. What's that? We all have a very important duty tomorrow since it is the first of October. What's that? We all have to work together. We've got to wake up Green Day. No, 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 jo no joke like that. No. Bad jokes. <laughs> Bad joke. <laughs> they must be awoken. You don't know the whole story about that song, do you? Yeah. And how they don't like that. We'll talk later. 
my drink went down the wrong pipe. <clears throat> oh boy. I think that's Green Day's karma. <laughs> Clear, clear. Get this ready. Clear. Very clear to there. Rest of the way, go the rest of the way. We're getting there. <laughs> Just gotta get to twenty five. You're good to there. You're good to here. You're good to there. Oops, you go first. Go there, go there, go there. Oh, I missed an out facing. <laughs> Have to fix that. Uh -oh. No biggie. That's just it. This is how this network is supposed to operate when it's set up right. You can see technically my score keeps going up because I'm taking on more and more consistently. Yeah. You also have to be aware that if you ever like remove contracts because you're redoing your contract layout, that number crashes quickly. <laughs> I want to do it back and forth. You want to do it back and forth. You want to do it back and forth. I can add you because I got room in the schedule. <laughs> Other two, we don't have room. <laughs> as much as you would want me to run these, I cannot, so. That, that, 29, I need 55 to do the upgrades I want, which is also building up the money I need to do the upgrades. Because the money is gonna be a big one. You're clear to in, you're clear to there, you're clear to here, and go ahead. You're clear in, you're clear in, let those go. 
clear to there, you're clear to there, you're clear to your platform. Let her run. Accept this contract. Sorry, I'm focusing on this one because I need to keep the movement going right now. <laughs> I'm trying to earn enough to get to these sensors so that by the end of stream, you guys can actually watch this whole thing run itself with my hands up. <laughs> mm. That's going to be my goal in the next 53 minutes is I want to get to a point where all of these contracts are going to operate without me touching them. Good to there, you're good to here. We're gonna be up first. Got to clear you, my bad. You're up, you're up, you're up. You're clear, you're clear, you're clear to here. You're clear through, don't even ask. Good, good. Look how harmonious that is. <laughs> it's either all on the network or not at all on the network. I love when that works. Yeah. Twenty five X is almost too fast. I said almost. <laughs> Jason, I need you to let me know when that green up at the top says fifty five. The green up at the top says fifty five, you got it. Or more, but at least 55. Because <laughs> that's going to be when I have to stop and we'll talk about upgrades. Okay. Because I should have enough money to kit out the system. If I've done this right. First. Now. 55. Fantastic. Wait for these to clear. Cool. All right. So let's go in here. Didn't think it was going to be that quick. <laughs> uh, so let's do arrival sensor and the departure sensor. So these two in tandem are the main heart of upgrading everything. The way these sensors work. 
first of all, let's put this arrival, put that auto sensor in so everything works. So we'll start with this platform since this is going to be the easiest one to do. So what a departure sensor does is as a train is leaving this platform, if it's going into the network, it uses this auto signal to tell the train to tell the train basically here's how you're navigating. In this case, all I have to do is if we exit build mode and set it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it um, since there's really only one way it can go, we're going to just tell it others. This is like it's catch all. I want to route others to three. So now every time a train leaves one, if it doesn't have a defined route, it's going to send it to three via the fastest available route. Um, in the case of these in the middle, we're actually going to do what's called arrival sensors. The way these work is we're actually going to place some, um, instead of right up against, we're actually going to place some one back. I'll explain that in a minute. What we'll do is we'll set all of them up here. And one back is going to be there. And all my arrivals? I think so. One in, two in, one in, two in. We're good. So then... Let's just go ahead and put departures here, here, and then of course we don't have enough money, so we'll have to wait to do this line, um, but it already improved us a lot. So what I'm going to do is tell it others I want to go here. Then if we come down to the arrival, you'll see we have to select an auto signal. So I'll go ahead and select this, and then what station should it be routing well for this one we're pointing at charlottenburg so that's what we're going to point for now what i can do is i can tell it i want platforms that aren't specified to just go here so in this case we're just going to default to three since these all specify that they want to go to three they'll always go to three make sense yeah i think so for this one we select that auto signal and we say we're headed to Charlottenburg. Well, it has access to platform two. What platform would you like? Let's choose two. So now any time we have a schedule that says, well, I don't know where you where I wanted to go. It tells it go to two. Otherwise, it just follows whatever's on the routing table. For up here, it'll be the same thing. Auto signal. And we'll tell it to go to one. And here, auto signal, platform two. So now at this point, the only trains that I'm, the only signals I physically have to touch are this one and this one. All other signals are going to operate completely independent of me provided the timing is correct. If the timing's not correct, this one and probably this one are going to get stuck because the tracks aren't fast enough. So let's test it. Let's just make sure my others, this is why I checked. That others is now set correctly. That others is set correct. And so we need two more departures. So I need to get to 20 grand on the money. So let me know when I'm at 20 grand. 20 grand. And we can go and close Charlottenburg now because we really don't need that one. These are the two that I need to watch. So let's go ahead. I'll give it green light to here and we'll watch the magic. So now they reserve their own path out and reserve their own path in. This is the one I have to do. 
and now that train will reserve its own path into Charlottenburg. Like that. Now in this case, this is where it gets a little bit difficult. Because this one is probably going to get stuck here. Yep, because he doesn't know what to do. Because he technically already passed the signal that was supposed to move him. So now we just have to move him manually. That will be adjusted once this track is faster and I fix the timings. Okay. It was 20 grand I was looking for? I believe so, yes. Okay. We're getting there. North of 20 grand is better, but 20 grand works. <laughs> 20 and north. Aye, aye, El Capitan. You can see how much I've already automated away. <laughs> okay, go here, go there. This is going to be another one, I think, where they're going to... Ooh, they might be okay. Yep, it was close, but he did do it. And then this one's also going to interact. See, he already reserved. So I don't even have to touch that one. So one to three is now fully automated. I'll never have to touch it again. Except for speeding it up. <laughs> um, where am I at? Uh, you are, you are quite north. That's what I get for looking away for two seconds. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and put in the other two departure sensors, and we'll get the rest of this running. Go ahead and tell this one I want you all to go here. Tell this one I want you all to go there. And as long as our departures are timed right, we'll be fine. If the departures are off time, we're going to have a problem. Now this is where we're going to save up for 20 on the green so that the timetable adjustments work. Um, is there anything else I want in here? Not yet. Um, technically, we want 40 so that I can get the routing queue. Because what happens with the routing queue is um, if the routing queue is allowed, let's say our train here ends up waiting while the other one crosses this one's actually going to have a route banked that as soon as it becomes available it goes okay so if anything i think the 20 routing queues first and then we'll fix the timing and now most of this should operate without me touching it it's just if it gets stuck on that uh, signal going into Charlottenburg. But at this point, I'm hands up. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> it is pretty cool. So now this system is basically self-sufficient other than minor timetable changes. So at this point, it's just going to print. Uh, gr it's going to print green upgrades and money without me having to do anything. And all I have to do is just keep maintenance on the system. Now, if we look here, we have another one waiting to go in. Let's see what we can do here. First of all, you're going to be plus two and plus two. Let's see where we can stagger you in. Um, I think I like you there. As long as I keep doing contracts that follow the same rhythm, It'll literally just set them up for me and go. And I just have to accept them after the first run. That's another one waiting. 
That's a no-go. That's a no-go. Yep, so this is where it's going to get stuck. And now we go. And that should now fix it for a little bit. However, since we're north of 20, I am going to get the routing queue. So now you can watch how the routing queue works if you watch this signal right here. I'm going to have my mouse on it just so you can see which one's highlighted. But yeah. watch for the little one to pop up in its top right. Ain't that neat? Okay, that's cool. And now it is fully operational. I could walk away and use the restroom right now, and this thing's just gonna run. <laughs> but that would be boring. <laughs> so instead, what we're gonna do is let's talk about upgrading the track speeds. Because that's gonna be the next big upgrade that the system needs. So if we go ahead and say, let's look at this track here. So it's going to cost me about 15 grand for this segment. So let's go ahead and just update it. Along with this one, this one, and that. Look how much faster the trains run now. And technically to make full use of the speed, you actually have to upgrade the platforms as well. So now you're going to watch our lower line go a hell of a lot faster. <laughs> now you see we actually have a new timing issue. Because now our train isn't leaving the platform fast enough for the new one to be ready in some cases. So we're going to have to look at that. Meanwhile, I'm going to come up here and tell these two lines to get faster. What that should do is give our trains coming out of Charlottenburg a bit more time to clear before the next one's waiting, I hope. Closer. So we may still need to edit the line slightly. Ninety six hundred for that line. Let's go ahead and do it. This one's only twenty four hundred. Let's do it. And I need six grand to do the platform. Yeah, look at that change on how different the timing is now. Now, this guy only benefits from upgrades. <laughs> Waiting on 15 grand on that one, and for some reason I paused it. I don't know why I paused it, but I paused it. <laughs> Waiting on 15 plus 6, so 21 grand to do that connection. We're going to need 12... Let's just do that. We need 18 grand to do the inbound. Let's go ahead and just do this platform. So if the trains are working right, everything's going to hit a new equilibrium like the bottom did as I do all the upgrades. Everything's going to hit a new equilibrium just going faster. Let's go ahead and do this track. And I just need the six grand to do the top one. Okay. 
So now the only line I haven't done is this one. Which actually isn't a horrible thing because it's actually fixing a little bit of our timing issue. See that? He really didn't have to stop now. That isn't the worst thing in the world. But look how fast I've already generated 55. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that I would say that's quick. Let's go ahead and get timetable adjustments finally. Let's also come up here. Let's get the auto blocks so we can start expanding to the right. Let's get more stations so we can expand to the right. Um, and let's do inner cities. And technically I could buy the rest of tier one, so we might as well do it. Technically, signaling safety and manual signal route preview are already long gone. I don't need them anymore. Um, but the train alerts will be nice in case there's something broken that I didn't realize and I'm not seeing it. The bad part is every time this guy almost stops, we're going to get an alert for it. <laughs> like he's about to. Oop, we're okay there. He was just quick enough. So let's go ahead and close these for now. And let's see if I can get some inner cities running. Single arrow. It's a single arrow. It's a single arrow. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> oh, there was an alert right there because he had to stop for a second. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and take a look at our timetable here. And I think we'll see the train that's causing the problem. Let's open him up and let's just adjust his arrival and departure slightly at the end. And you should see now he's lined up better. So let's go ahead and close this. Let's do the same thing for this one. So now, if I'm right, that should fix the two times an hour where it actually comes to a halt. Let's see if that works. Um, also, we should try and retime this top one because these are all over the place. <laughs> Let's start with this one. Shift you back. That's really all you needed, right? Yeah, you just needed to shift back slightly. And this one, we're going to shift forward slightly. And we're going to do the same thing for this one. Looks like I got one more to do. Oh, there's another one. Oh, it's the one that's about to happen. Timing. Timing on that one. Oh, it hasn't run yet, so that's why it's not updating them yet. So let's go ahead and tell it go. And let's just watch that it's cleaned everything up. I think it has. Nope, we still got one. Still got one that's off kilter. How are you? I am confused. Oh, 
that's what I need. I need a retime on that. Tell it I want its arrival there. And probably same thing here. I think that did it, actually. Yeah, that should do it. See if that helps. That looks better. Wouldn't you say, Chase? It was bueno. And I don't even want to think about this one. But I have to. Timing still staggers. Why? Oh, is that what happened? So it was staggering here, which caused these to stagger. I'll bet that's what it is. So actually, I think we need to fix the timing. Let me think. This also might just be too fast. These, like, the track layout that I've got just might not be right. In fact, we're going to test that theory. Let's try. I'm going to hate fixing this later. But if it works, it works. Put the arrival sensor back. So uh, I never did explain why I have the arrival sensors where I do. The reason I have them back here is because, especially on these faster tracks, what happens is if they are too close to the auto signal, the auto signal does not trigger fast enough. And so the train actually comes to a stop briefly. Ew. So I actually have them back an extra block. That way there is no, that way there's more time for the game's AI to go, oh, by the way, we need to do this. Let's see if that fixes the timing. Um, we're going to try and, I guess, retime on this one. And just see if I can get the timing right. Technically, what that does is that. I'll go to here. Back one, forward one. Come up to the next one. Hit it. Back one, forward one. On the next one. Backward, forward. On the next one. Hey, I think that's right now. Let's see. No, looks like I might have one to go. Back, go forward. That should be the hour. Yeah, let's see if that does it. All right, it's running and I'm hands off. Already, I can tell you that's a faster run. Question of is if is 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 it fast enough? Oh, it'll be plenty fast. We could probably speed up the other line now. Yeah, we're we're able to speed up that other line now. Okay, so now this is the first instance where I have an inner city. So you'll notice up here at the top, it says, uh, can I zoom in? No, it's going to be the same size. So you'll see passage, passage. What that means is this thing ain't stopping. It's just running straight through. So all, okay. all we have to do is find a spot in the schedule to place it where it can just brute force its way through. In this case, it's a two minute run and I'm going to put it 
here on the let's see actually that's not gonna work you need to be on one and three so now let's see it line up with the rest of the line okay we're assuming that it's a two minute run and i need it to be out of there before it accepts the next train so if the next train comes in at the 30 mark, realistically, it's only a two minute air factor that it needs. I'd say we'll probably give it that. Don't ask what happens downwind, but it works here. In fact, let's do it on the five. Give it even more room. Now, one thing we are going to need is since it's going the other way, we need a departure sensor up here and an auto signal. Let's go ahead and do these updates. So now, these are officially going to go at this line. Three to one and one to three is now bi-directional. And if the timing's correct, we should be able to stuff this in somewhere. See what we can do. Technically, you're going to come in there, and then you're in there. I'm buying time for it just in case it decides that wasn't the answer. Come back on one. Okay. And while we're in here, let's go ahead and tell it. Upgrade that sector and this sector. Cassie with Pasta Chicken Hydrate. Thank you, Cassie. And... And pull this forward. We'll pull that forward to match. Is going to require us to do a reset, I think. No, it got it. This one, however, does not like. Because the track technically changed IDs. All right, so at this point, let it run and see what happens. There goes our inner city. He's out of here. <laughs> and I'll bet you this is another inner city going the other way. Yep. Now, let's time this one in. Since it's going to be following a train, I can actually slot it in directly after that one's supposed to leave. Let's put it. Oh, it's still going the same way. Okay. So, yeah, let's have it leave 1740 and be there. Let him run. See how bad I've screwed up. Yeah, look at that timing. It's way nicer. Like butter. That's fine. How did he get that fast? Old timing, maybe? Yeah, they aren't leaving the platform fast enough. Yeah, the new timing's too tight. So they're actually running into each other, technically. Uh, how am I going to fix this? Oh, that's what I did wrong. And I'm now on tier three of green, and I'm still only here. 
<laughs> Yay! Now if we look at tier 3 of green, we have a new one that'll be fun later. We can also specify what contracts I'm working on, and we can make the switches faster. That'll all be later. Right now I'm going to tell it I want more contract offers. And we'll round this one out probably at the end of stream. We never even did talk about the one-way contracts, but we'll leave that alone for now because those are annoying on a harmonious layout. Because <laughs> the one-ways don't abide by any rules. <laughs> um, let's see here. Look at our timing. I guess our air gap did get a little tighter there. Uh, 42, 43, 47, every five seconds. But what was this gap? Six seconds. That's what happened. Uh, so technically we need six second air gaps on all the contracts. So I should be able, if I go to this one, 36, 31, and this one's 26. So what I should be able to do is starting on this guy, I should be able to just, bop. nope, wrong one. 31, go to 32. Then I want you to give me this one. I want you to go to 38. I'm going to get me this one. 8 to 4 is 6. Yeah. Then this one. Then this one's going to go out 3 seconds to 50. to 57. 25, 38, that's seven. That's six. How did those tighten up? Is it retimed at five? Do that. This is where micromanaging gets interesting. So now let's come up to this contract. 50's there, but... Where does the timing go on that? Fifty-five. Fifty-five? And that's a one. And this contract, which is another, oops. Guess that might be okay. Oops, not an okay phrase. I think we'll be okay. Watch the timings and see how they do. This one's still gonna be off because it was the old timing. this point is 
now starting to get a heck of a lot of inner cities going from these going between these two. So let's talk about this one. So this is gonna be one to three. It's gotta fit during a time when there's nothing on the platform. Technically it's just gotta chase that one. We actually might be okay to just chase here. Yeah, if you want to see exactly how fast this system can run, you just get a whole lot of these inner cities that are all following each other. And you can see just how fast that inner loop can go. Every two minutes, you're going to see one go through. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Cause this is gonna be kind of cool to watch. That train was late. Uh, no. And now everything's behind. Okay. Do I have the option to switch it now? Okay. Buy me another minute, and we're gonna have to do the same thing on the others. There's another minute there. Next one comes in. Oh, shoot, that's not what I wanted. Close this. Okay, this is what I wanted. So this is coming through at 17. So this one's at 20. Check. That one's going to have to be even slower because it's got to wait for its partner coming back the other way. Not what I wanted. Okay, one of these two 20s is gonna move. I don't know which one's which, so we're just gonna move one of them. Actually, that was the wrong one. Uh, active contracts, don't search there. And we want an inner city. And I got two of these here. 16, 9, 19. There it is. So, get me the edit button on that one. gonna have to be out to there because I've got the timing wrong I think unless I can go in ahead of these that would work That's going to sit at the platform for a second anyways, which gives me plenty of time to clear. So let's go ahead and close that. Close that. And with 10 minutes to go, this is what we've got. Now, because we've edited the timing so much, the thing you are going to see... Oh, wait a minute. What's going on there? There's an overlap there. Let's go ahead and pull that up and see what's going on with it. You borked it.
this case, I'm going to tell it it needs to go. Oh, what did it just do? Oh, it closed step one. Why did it close step one? Edit. There's my three. Okay. I'm gonna tell it to leave time off the platform, please. That guy who technically needs staggered still. Let's tell this one I need you a minute earlier just to give me a little bit more air factor. Should be fine. Realistically, if I was insane enough, I would actually blow out all the contracts that have been fulfilled and start retiming everything based off of the new track speeds. Oof, duh. But if I continue this save, we'll do it at that point. What questions do you have, Chase? Because I've talked about just about everything I can think to talk about. Um, I don't know. I'm running on like three brain cells at the moment, and two of them I think have passed out in the corner. <laughs> Fair. Hey, it's really cool, and I'm starting to get all the concepts of it, but. It's going to take more of me looking at it to fully understand it. It's really neat, though. I like the way it makes your brain work. Because you're basically thinking ahead of time as you're doing this. Yeah, it's like playing chess. You got to think two and three moves ahead. Five if you're good. That timing looks great. But yeah, that is Railroot. <laughs> a very, very fun dispatch simulator. Um, with a lot of neat little nuances that, especially as the game gets later, you start noticing a lot more of stuff you have to keep up with. Yeah. Um, for example, like if I go in and... Look at some of the other contract stuff. Like I can tell you now, let's do more stations. And the routing sensor. Technically at this exact moment, I can do most of the rest of the game right now. I just need the, uh, I think it's just the unlimited station. Yeah. I just need the unlimited stations to get me the rest of the way. Because I'm technically too short. Although, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Technically, there's only one left after that. So, who knows? They might not even give you that. I don't know. 
There are only might be 11. Wait a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's 13 here. So they're going to need... I probably need one more upgrade to go the rest of the way. You can see how quick it can get upgrades now. Yeah. <laughs> and the tracks can get faster, too. Um, the advanced tracks are actually locked back here. So you have to do the red to get the tier three tracks. So this might even be its own thing that we talk about. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think... Unless there's anything else we want to talk about real quick... I think that's going to do it for us. Yep, I think that's it. Also, hello, Chiba, saying interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. How are you tonight, Chiba? is tired i imagine yeah at this point i am full hands off so you're watching the entire system operate yeah there's room to make the timing better and more harmonious but right now it works um that said i think we're gonna do it that's gonna do it for us we will see you guys tomorrow for construction simulator with the chaos crew that said chase thank you so much for joining me this was a lot of fun e. please say goodbye bye and as always chad i do have one question for you anyone up for some customs bye